I just wanted to do a quick video walkthrough of making a color diffuse map in Maya, baking it from your high poly to your low poly. So uh, for an object like this, what you want to do is on your high poly, you want to make sure that you're making shaders, uh, and they can be basic Lamberts. Just go ahead and make shaders. Uh, I've already done that. Make a shader and uh, double click it. Change the color. You can use, uh, start with these six up here, and then I usually go uh, white and white and either gray. Uh, black will be the background, so I try to avoid black, but uh, you can also just, uh, there's no orange up there, obviously, so we can grab an orange and, and then close this. And now anything we want to have that orange, you know, maybe we want uh, one of these teeth here to have the orange applied to it, or maybe every other tooth in this. We can just go on and select those and apply. You can also do it on a per face uh, level and just apply them on each individual faces. Like if I wanted the cake part to be separate from the frosting, I could go in there and manually do that. Um, or paint selection, uh, that's another way of doing that. And so you could paint selection and then go in and select those faces by painting them and then assign the shader to that. So really that's all you need is uh, different shaders applied to your high res with just a color. Um, you can also apply vertex color as well. And, and then you can export it out as an FBX. Uh, I, I haven't gotten good results from that, uh, from that working, I should say. But uh, you can import that into something like XNormal, uh, which reads uh, vertex color and uh, on your high poly or something like Topo Gun. Maya's OBJ exporter uh, currently doesn't do this. So that's something to keep in mind is that you can't export it as an OBJ. So it's a little quicker to do this uh, just in Maya. So just grab your low res. Select your low res, go to your transfer maps. I've got it as a shelf button here. And then turn on the layer for your high res, select objects, and then in add them in your source mesh. And now if you go to output maps, you just want to make sure to diffuse. You don't want shaded, you want diffuse because you don't want any shading baked in. You don't want any lighting or anything. So you just want to go ahead and uh, tell that where uh, you want it to save. We're saving to the desktop as a JPEG. Use Maya common settings and just uh, uncheck that so it won't make a new shader. Common output 512, preview quality, and then fill texture seams. That's how much it will expand uh, on the UV edge border. So four pixels on the UV edge border, it'll take that last uh, color and extend that four extra pixels. So we could do something like six and click bake and should be relatively fast since we're just doing a 512. Uh, this map is typically very quick. Uh, you can always do uh, preview quality as long as you're filling texture seams. So now if we just go to the desktop, you can see we've baked this out and it baked out all our colors. Um, we're getting a little weirdness with our teeth and that's just uh, because that's where they're, they're sort of uh, intersecting and, and um, matching up here, but all in all, it it works pretty good. Uh, you just, again, need to be a little careful. You might have to do some cleanup selections. Uh, you can see where, um, since I retopologized this, uh, I've got some issues where I, the seam or the stem is bleeding into the actual cherry part here. So there's a little uh, issues with that. You'll see from time to time. You can also, uh, instead of using, you know, random primary colors, you can actually just use the colors that you want to uh, use as your base texture and I'll do that a lot of times as, as well and then paint over top of that uh, if I'm you know do some hand painting but if you're using a, a program like Dedu or um, just want to do uh, selection masks in Photoshop it works better for primary colors so uh, that's it for baking out a diffuse color map in Maya uh, from your high poly to your low poly